Hello everyone, welcome to AJ Script Media. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button to get my updated tutorials. Since I received some requests regarding the Bootstrap Date Picker, I decided to make a tutorial on this. This code was sent to me and asked how to implement jQuery Date Time Picker using Odoo version 15. Below are examples using the browser's native Date Time Picker and using jQuery Date Time Picker. The browser's native Date Time Picker, in my opinion, is fine if you want a simple design and functionalities. However, if you want to use a better design with more functionalities, you can use jQuery Bootstrap Date Time Picker. Actually, the Bootstrap Date Time Picker is already being used by Odoo. The one you see in the web client, as well as on the website, is using the Bootstrap Date Picker. But before doing these versions, let's try first to implement these codes. Alright, let's get started. Since we will be using Odoo version 15, there's still a little change in how we import our assets. For all XML files, we need to add it under web.assetsqm. And for the JSN styles, it will be under web.assets backend. In Odoo version 16, the XML files are added under web.assets backend. Then I created the client action and the menu items. Then under static, SRC and components folder, I created two files, datetimepicker.js and datetimepicker.xml. Going back to CodePen, since we already have the working solution, we just need to copy and paste all these codes. For the HTML, copy this code under the template and make sure to add the closing tag. Remove also the text like class and change this to padding instead of margin. Let's go back to Udo and make sure you're in debug mode so that we can just reload the page instead of upgrading the module. Okay, so on the left side, this will work since it's using the browser's native date time picker. But for the right side, we still need to import some assets. If we click the settings, it will show you all the assets for CSS and JS. But most of these are already present in Odoo. If we check under the web static lib folder, we have jQuery, Bootstrap, and Moment. This means we only need to add the jQuery date time picker. But before we add it, let's import first the on will start lifecycle method to load our assets and on mounted to initialize the date time picker from all that hooks. Then import load.js from web.ajax so that we don't need to manually import it in the document head. Let's then add the on will start method under setup. Call load.js method and add the link we need. Then under the on mounted lifecycle method, let's copy the JS code and just paste it since it's possible to merge jQuery in old framework. Then lastly, let's add the custom CSS by creating a new file, datetimepicker.css. We don't need to import Bootstrap and FantOSAM since it's already existing in Odoo. Let's now try if it's working or not. Alright, the layout seems fine. Activate developer tools. We don't have any errors. Let's click and there you go. We have successfully implemented jQuery Bootstrap Date Picker. Now you can add any initial setup you want and it will work like the min date. But this is still not enough if we can't use this date value, right? We first need to check on how we can get the values. Since this is jQuery, we can just add an onChange event and pass an anonymous function with e as a parameter. Then let's console log e the target that value. Go back, reload, and now try to select any date. Okay, there's no error, and we successfully got the date value. We can then use this value and pass it to the component state by importing useState from old. 
Then under the setup method, let's create a new state date with the initial state as an empty string. Then under onChange event, let's update this that state that date is equal to e that target that value. But we can't use this variable here to access the state since in jQuery this pertains to the active element being clicked. To solve this issue, before we call any jQuery code, we need to initialize a new variable self which is equal to the current class component. Then let's replace this with self and actually let's console log it. Go back and reload. Select any date. And yes, it's working fine. To know if the state is changing, let's import the useEffect method from web core utils hooks. In version 15, it's kind of separated into different JS modules, but in version 16, all of this has been merged into all. Then under setup method, let's add a useEffect method by just having a console log to the state that date, which will work only if this that the state that date has been changed. Let's go back and reload, select any date, and yes, as you can see, the active date is showing on the logs. You can then use this value for whatever purpose you want. It can be saved in the database or used as a filter. Before we do the version which Odoo uses, we need to check the issues of this code. If we check other modules like CRM and try to open some records with date field. It's overriding the existing date time picker of Udo. So if you still want to use this version, we need to unload this script every time this component will not be used. But it's not possible to unload the script if it's already added, even if we remove this element on the document head. The only way I can think of is to reload the page. Let's do that by adding the onWheel unmount method and selecting any script that has this source. And if there is, just reload the page after 100 milliseconds, just to give time to get the new route. Let's go back and reload, go to other modules. Okay, it will reload and then the Udo date picker will work as expected. Now let's try the other version, which is the one Udo using. There are two versions. The first one is under Web Static SRC Core Date Picker, which is used under the search panel. The other one is under Legacy JS Widget Date Picker.js, which is used in field widgets. I will choose the one that uses all since this is easier to implement. If we check the notes, Udo uses a date picker using the Tempus Dominos Date Picker library. This is using jQuery, but in Odoo, they created a new module using all, which will work since jQuery will work on all framework. Then the template has been modified with a custom classes based on Odoo custom design. Before we start, it's important to note that Odoo used Luxon date and time library. Since Tempus Dominus is using Moment.js by default. The values then coming from Luxon will be converted as a string. So if you want to use Moment.js in passing dates, it will throw an error. Using Luxon, there are a lot of datetime functions that you can try, like datetime.local, UTC, from JS date, and many more as you scroll. Depending on your purpose, you can try these various methods. But in this tutorial, let's make it simple by using the local method without specifying a custom date so that it will return the current date and time. Going back to our component, let's import both date picker and date time picker from web core date picker date picker and add them under the list of components. These two components require date prop, so we need to import date time from Luxon. Then we also need to comment these codes to avoid date time picker version issues. To pass date time from Luxon, we need to create a new class field this.date is equal to datetime.local. Under our template, let's simply replace these input fields, add date picker, 
and date time picker components, and pass date prompts with the date class field we created. Let's go back and reload. And there you go, we have successfully added the default date time picker used by Udo. Now to get the input values, we need to call t on date time change, which has been defined under on date change method in date picker component. So every time the date has been changed or when the bootstrap date picker has been closed, this trigger will be called and that's how we can access and get the value of the input field. Let's then pass our method on date change, add it under our component and access the date value as the parameter. Let's console log it to check what are we getting. Go back and reload, select any date and yes, under the lag, we have an object. In this object, we particularly need the detail and the date object. Since it's using the Luxon date format, we can then check how we can get different formats using the toFormat function, using these strings, or use the predefined format easily. Going back to our method, let's then update our date state by calling e.detail.date.toFormat method and pass d as a short date. Go back and reload the page. Select any date. And yes, we are now getting the correct date format. Let's duplicate this method for the date time picker and rename it to on date time change as well as the format. But this time, let's add a custom format for the date and time. Update our template. Go back and reload. Select any date, select any time, click the check button, and yes, we now have the correct date and time format. You can also pass different props like min and max date. Let's try the min date by adding a new class field that is equal to date time and using from object method, year as 2023, month 11, and day 5. Go back and reload, select any previous date, and as you can see, it's not possible to select previous dates. Lastly, if something's missing with the Udo date time picker component, you can just simply go to the Tempus Dominus documentation and copy the code samples. Let's try time only. And for the JavaScript part, do the same we did on the first example by adding it under the onMounted lifecycle method for us to get the input values and pass them to the component state. And that's it guys, I hope you learned something from this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to help improve this channel or just hit the like button. Thank you and see you next time.